don't get me started on these ticket prices because the other day I checked the cost to go somewhere and the ticket prices says you are broke. Hey guys well going what's good welcome or welcome back to my channel as you can see by the title of this video i'm going to be doing a get ready video with me if you are interested in listening to me ramble for however many minutes this video is going to be about some of my experiences and thoughts about living in japan then go ahead and, con and f continue watching this video if you are new here don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you're interested in following me on my instagram it is at namaste on instagram and stacia underscore g on tiktok so enough talking let's get into this video if you want to see how i achieve this look i'm going to a concert so if you're interested in seeing what i get up to in that vlog you can go ahead and check it out and yeah you know from there let's get into this video hey guys this is my second time filming this portion of the video my camera has been acting a damn fool before we begin though i want to you know give a disclaimer like the, whatever i'm discussing are merely my opinion my experiences i know that quite often people get really defensive when you come for or talk about negatively about your country and i understand to some extent but it's also like where is the room for for growth because if people can't criticize something then where are how are we going to grow you know what i mean i even did a video as a jamaican talking about why i left jamaican and jamaica and a lot of people came from me in the comment section they were not happy with my reasoning for wanting to leave so i understand to some extent that people are defensive when it comes down to speaking your truth especially when it's deviating from everything that is beloved or loved by the by everybody else but as for me i'm i'm going to share my experiences and they may not always be peaches and cream so i have my glass here with my wine i have about at this point in time 45 minutes which is enough for me to get ready i don't do a lot these days i keep it very simple i just can't be bothered to be honest um i'm also filming a tiktok i think so we're gonna see how that goes i am getting ready for a concert if i haven't said that before so if you guys are interested in watching that vlog it should be before this video comes live so if you haven't seen that as yet go ahead and check it out so we're gonna get ready right now i have two cameras focusing on so you're gonna have to bear with me all right so i'm going to do my brows which is what i typically do before i do anything and i'm using the nyx professional thingy i'm not a makeup girl y'all not a makeup girl i'm using the nyx professional micro pencil one of that it's very popular it's like one of the more popular things that they have on their site let me start with working in japan as a foreigner i know that many people come to my channel for you know life in japan especially people from jamaica the u.s that's that's where the bulk of my audience is from so i wanted to talk about st stuff like that and i mean if you're not in japan and you can relate go ahead and sound up in the comment section below i i've been working in japan for the past three years now and i feel like i am stagnant and as a foreigner here i feel like it's easy to feel that way you know what i mean because when you're here as a foreigner, it is extremely difficult for you as a foreigner to gain promotion in a country that is basically an exclusive country. I would describe Japan, it's homogeneous and with that being said, I would consider it to some degree as being an exclusive country where they tend to promote people who look like them more than they would someone who is a stranger a foreigner an outsider and that's also partly because you know they view us as not being committed to building the company in japan they have this culture where people will work one job and stay in that job for their entire career and it is frowned upon to to, to jump from job job to job so for example if you have a track record of working in japan for companies for like a year like three companies 
every like you change company every year or if you've gone to multiple companies within a year they look at that as something negative and i guess to some extent outside of japan they would but i think here they take that way more personally than they would in other countries in my opinion of course i could be wrong so i don't think they are necessarily trying to to hire foreigners and the company that i work with it's extremely difficult to move up for a number of reasons one i i don't speak japanese and two because there are so many alts here that you're competing with it's easy to be overlooked especially in my position right it's easy to be overlooked and i i'm not necessarily looking to be promoted in this specific company either and then the the problem with that too is like i've been working the same salary for three years and i feel like over the course of the three years so much has changed economically and it has made it difficult to survive in japan not only that i feel like based on what they're asking me to do versus what i'm being paid there is a huge disparity in that and i know that many people might argue you know that there isn't a job that pays you exactly what you deserve that's fair but at the same point at the same time i feel like when you have an alt job with a company that i work for quite often more often than not people have to resort to getting part-time jobs starting businesses something on the side to make extra money because that's the only way you're going to be able to save if you're interested in saving which you should be you're a grown woman or a man and if you want to send money to jamaica and the crazy thing is in japan i think i've spoken about this in a in another video i in japan your taxes increases every year irrespective of whether or not your salary is now if you are an expat not an expat if you're a military or if you are a military wife or whatever any affiliation with the military then of course you're exempted from those taxes but i'm talking about regular degla schmegler people like myself who have made a trip to japan for whatever reason once you are working here you have to pay taxes and not only that you also have to pay things like pension which is to me a scam a scam because you're living in a country where you're temporary they know you're temporary and they treat you as temporary until it's time to pay them pen that pension like you are forced to pay now gone are the days where i could ask for an exemption i know that each situation is different because i know people who have been here for five six seven years and they have gotten pension exemptions in the first year i came here the first two years i got an exemption and for some reason they decided that they were no longer going to give me that exemption anymore and so they started sending the vouchers for me to pay and then when i was ignoring them they started threatening to withdraw the money from my account and it's just like this is so annoying to me because it's like y'all are going to refund me the money anyway or at least that's what y'all say it's it just like i can understand health insurance I, I pay that without even questioning even though i think it's too much and as much as i know some people to be paying because i know sashoni y'all know sashoni she pay like twenty seven thousand dollars in in um health insurance i pay like sixteen thousand something but she's also been here longer than i have so maybe that's why and if i were to god forbid be here for another year i'm not looking forward to what that that might be but they are making changes in terms of policy they're making changes so that all of us even the ones like myself who chose to pay or not to pay that is going to come from our salaries now so we don't even have the choice to to ignore to take the risk of them just dipping in our accounts anymore it's it's not it's no longer a choice you're like yeah we want the money and we're going to take it so i have a problem with that let me know what you think but i think it's it's crazy that you live in a country where you're forced to pay pension like i said health insurance i don't have a big problem with it because of course you're here you're using the you chances are you going to be using the health system but even that as a black woman here i find that it's extremely hard to to get 
good health care provide health care services primarily because i suffer from pcos and it's like for me at least it's hard to find because asians aren't known for that right they aren't known they aren't affected by pcos it's mostly black women who are affected so there are certain things that i want to speak to someone who looks like me because they are chances are going to be in a better position to assist me and those are some of the things that make it really really challenging being black in asia when there are certain things that you would rather speak to someone who looks like you and then there are so many horror stories that i've heard of people who speak japanese and the nurse is at the at the desk thought that they didn't understand and they were basically gossiping about the, the girl right in front of her face at the front desk and i thought and i think that's so unprofessional and that's not i've heard so many cases of that where and not just in that scenario where um women or people have been gossiping about a foreigner in their presence thinking that they don't understand the other day i had a student of mine who is um she's non-japanese she's from the states and she went to Okinawa and she was telling me that while she was there because they didn't want to pay a certain amount one of the comments were foreigners are so cheap and they said that in Japanese not knowing that she she can speak Japanese and those are the little things that I'm talking about like they act so nice and they have this image of being polite and all of that but in reality <laughs> they be acting a mess if you understand the language you can, you pick up on so many things but back to what i was saying about the whole um health health system thing my whole issue is the medication and the medicine that they have here is so weak i remember the first time i came to japan i developed pneumonia i was coughing really bad and by the way guys i am using the Juvia's Place palette. I told y'all I'm not I'm not a makeup person. So yeah, I I developed pneumonia and I I'd gone to the doctor to get some help to get some medication because I was coughing unbearably. They gave me some medicine which was supposed to last for two weeks and let's just say two weeks passed and I was still coughing the same way if not worse. As I was when I just give the, the symptoms right and so for me it's like what is the reason because if I'm paying money if I'm taking time off from work to do this then I really don't want to to be spending money for it to not be working I went back told him it didn't work and I got some more medication still didn't work so i had to resort to natural remedies and that's how i got rid of it eventually so the medicine here is notoriously weak and in a, in a, outside of that like like how did i even get here i was talking about professionalism right but yeah the healthcare for me is a no i know some people who have the opposite perspective or view on that matter on that topic but for me so far it's been a no i even went there to get some birth control to help with my pcos i was taking that thing for months and i did not see any noticeable difference like i cannot wait to get back to the west so that i can get the help that i really really need but yeah though that is something that is a turn off for me about living in japan in addition to to the health insurance thing i wanted to talk about the fact that being a foreigner here is difficult whether or not you speak japanese i think it's difficult to get an apartment i think every foreigner can relate to that like you are limited in terms of what you can get as a foreigner and not only that i feel like it's a scam on so many levels so my current apartment i pay a certain amount of money right and when i first signed on signed the contract or the lease whatever you want to call it either way it's the same thing i knew that when i signed it there was going to be an end right it's a two-year lease and at the end of that lease i if i were to renew the contract I had to, I have to, 
to pay one month's rent plus i have to pay for the renewal of the fire insurance right in addition to that month's rent so i will end up having to pay in november i'm gonna have to pay two months rent of, two months worth of rent plus that fire insurance and i think that's just absurd of course it's not for everyone because i know some people only pay like their fire insurance to renew it and it's just absurd to me because one of the clause in the contract in this contract and in the other contract that i signed for my previous apartment is the clause that if i leave the apartment within eight months or so of my contract from the start date I have to pay a cancellation fee which equates to one month worth of rent so it's just it's just a whole lot for me like I personally I'm not a fan of it I feel like a lot of things here are unnecessary and I feel like it's just a scam because one of the things that you have to pay quite often many people here would know as well is the fact that you have to pay like a, I think it is a key money or something up to of the sort where you have to pay money thanking the landlord for allowing you to rent their space and it's just a whole lot to me it's a whole lot of unnecessary steps because why should i pay like you should be thanking me if anything for giving you money in your pocket how about that so next i'm going to take a sip of wine and then I'm going to go into the rest of my face. But first, we're going to do some primer. And I'm going to be doing the Milk Cosmetics, which is running low. And, and then I'm going to press in some setting powder to kind of minimize the oiliness on my face. Yeah, the whole apartment thing is a scam. It's like so hard to get an apartment. And when, it, when you do, you have to jump so many hurdles in order to go. And then when you go through company like Leo Palace or companies that are centered towards foreigner, it is always you having to pay a whole lot of extra fees because of course they're exploiting the fact that as a foreigner, you it's not as easily it's not easy to get somewhere to stay. Also another thing is the fact that you are so far away from everything. Now you would think that being in Japan would mean that you are in a first world country and you can access all of these wonderful things and to be fair yes it is better than Jamaica in the sense that I can order something and it's delivered right to my front right to my door but at the same time it's it's also like it's it's expensive to shop on certain website because what you're gonna have to pay in shipping costs as well as you know um import and customs fee it sometimes it don't even make any sense but you just do it because you have no other choice so like shopping on amazon us has been a blessing and a curse at the same time because even though you can get a lot of stuff a lot of things are aren't even shipped to japan and then makeup let's let's go there makeup don't even bother think about it you're not going to walk into any store you're not going to walk any store as a black woman and find any shade that's remotely close to you if you're a light-skinned black woman you, you 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 stand a chance but as for me and my caramel goodness that will never happen so like right now i know that the shade of foundation i'm using is not even my shade anymore <laughs> but what am i going to do like i can't walk into a sephora or ultra beauty or anything of that matter and get a foundation that fits me so what do i have to do wear foundation that's not my color wow the pressure is getting worse like stuff like that it's really really hard getting you know food especially with the whole coronavirus thing i think that has put a bigger dump on getting things that we are used to like everything is way more expensive don't get me started on these ticket prices because the other day I checked the cost to go somewhere and the ticket prices says you are broke bitch. That's what the ticket prices looked at me and said because why why are ticket prices so expensive? They're so expensive. These airlines want their money 
back in blood because i was even thinking oh, maybe i should do a jamaica trip i haven't been home in in three years when i tell you i checked that ticket price and it was saying three hundred thousand dollars which is about three thousand us dollars or more i was like okay i will continue to miss jamaica right over here because what Ooh. not me it's not even giving what y'all said it was supposed to give the only way i'm paying that is if i'm leaving jamaica and if i'm not leaving like if i'm leaving japan i should say and until that day comes we're not paying 300k hell no till the no 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 hell to the no so i know my makeup looks crazy on camera but you know in in person it doesn't look as weird so i don't know what's going on like on camera it is giving she not your color she not your shade but i'm looking in the mirror which is behind the camera and we look good so yeah those are some of the things that i find extremely hard here dealing with like making friends with japanese people is also another thing i don't know about anyone else but japanese people have a different idea of what friendship means and so for me it doesn't go together we don't go together this is not karisha and puffy we go together now real bad whatever you say i like that we don't go together at all we like i attempted to make friends with japanese people and my thing is i don't know i don't want friendships where we're going weeks and months without communicating if you're my friend i need to check in on you i need you to check in on me and i don't just want to be someone who you exchange language language with someone with whom you get to sharpen your english skills because i feel like that's the base point of many of these friendships i have enough acquaintances i need some real friends and befriending foreign women too i don't know about anyone i'm, I'm on bumble bff and let me tell you something it's extremely hard finding meaningful friendships on there as well so i'm on there and i'm connecting with people and we'll have a conversation like the hey conversation and it, it doesn't move on from there and i'm like why would you go through the, the, the whole trouble of of downloading and uh, downloading the app creating the account putting up pictures everything and then when you match with people you are not connecting with them by having conversation like what is the point of you even being on this app if not to do that like it don't make no sense to me what, what, was, the reason? Reason. what was the reason, reason. what was the reason? reason so i've been talking to one person and i'm honestly not even looking to swipe right to anybody else because it's just like she has been the most consistent person and i'm done with that i want people like that in my life because i feel like so many of the times like my friend a lot of my friendships have died down because i feel like it's one-sided and whenever i stopped calling whenever i stopped checking in it's like crickets like where where where, where are you where, where are you like i'm the one turning up in the friendship and when i'm no longer turning up it's it's cricket so i'm like yeah i don't want any more friendships where i have to i have to put in all the work and i'm not saying i want to fall back but i want i want i want reciprocity you know reciprocate reciprocate that's the word of the day reciprocate yeah so making friends here is hard it's hard japan has made me even more of a loner because even when you do have solid friendships here everybody is so busy and that's the next thing like everybody is so freaking busy in and they don't have no time to hang out or you don't have the time to hang out and everybody's so far away it's hard to to maintain those friendships the so friendship is hard here like getting job opportunities extremely difficult because as a foreigner you're basically pigeonholed to to teaching English basically 
and i tried modeling i still attempt to model but i don't know i feel like people have this like the image of black people here is a stereotype um perception that they have so if you don't have an afro or you're extremely dark like it's hard for you to get jobs i know someone who does modeling here and i hear her talk about getting gigs and i'm like can't relate i guess i'm not light enough and that's the thing you, you either have to be ambiguous extremely light and ambiguous or extremely dark you know what i mean or if you're like me you have to have a fro or something but they have this stereotypical perception of what it means to be black and what they're looking for so i don't really get a lot of jobs um modeling jobs here i cannot wait to walk into stores that sell foundation in my in my shade where i can find pigmented things that aren't light and natural because that's what they go for here i cannot wait cannot wait and i've enjoyed my experience in japan but i feel like i'm coming to an end i'm definitely not one of those foreigners who who feel like i could do this japan thing forever and ever there was a time when i felt that way but it ain't like that for me no more so the last thing i wanted to talk about quickly is mental health i feel like being here i have i feel like overall i struggle with the mental health in general but i feel like being here more i have had like spells of being extremely extremely depressed and i know that that could be um tied back to or attributed to the fact that being here can feel it can feel lonely sometimes i consider myself a loner and i still think that i am a loner in the in the truest sense of being a loner but at the same time it's like there is quite often a need to connect with people and not just that like you're surrounded by people in a cult by people um who are of a different mindset who are you know who have a different culture a different way of dealing with things and japan has a very high suicide rate primarily because they also don't deal with things you know it's very common to be going to work and trains are delayed why because someone jumped that's the most most common way that they do it so it's like extremely taxing because here, when you think about it, the culture puts work over everything. There is no work-life balance. And you find that even here, when you're if you're coming to work here and you're going to work, it is very, very normal for you to be expected to turn up to work even when there is a typhoon going on. You know, I had a student who once told me, this is an adult student, she once told me of this uh, her colleague apparently he had a big meeting and it so happened that there was a typhoon while the meeting was scheduled and he couldn't make it and his boss was upset with him because he was upset or she was upset that she didn't say what, what gender it was but I'm assuming it's a male he was upset with the worker that he didn't stay back stay back at work and stayed overnight during the typhoon so he could make the the, the the meeting so it's that kind of mentality where work comes above everything and even when i was training to come here i was told that you know if if i'm sick or anything i should still go to work because it is very frowned upon to not go to work and all of that and even here i'll have co-workers who'll be like oh i'm leaving work early today and early for them is like Five, five o'clock it is a very work-centered culture and if you want more information you can definitely go ahead and google i don't remember the exact term but it basically means work till death and it's a very common thing here people work until they are dead so i feel like with that that in and of itself should tell you how little that they prioritize mental health in this country and it's crazy to me because one thing about me i'm gonna take a day off to make sure that i'm good because what who gonna check me who gonna check me boo 
when you do take that day off you you have to use your vacation days there there is no differentiation between sick days or vacation leave it's all the same days that you have to use according to your discretion so i'm finished with my makeup i think um this is what this is gonna have to do i'm going to go in with this body oil and i like i like that little you know that glow it gives so let me show you guys what's going on with that so i'm gonna put it on my body so i can look like the melanin goddess that i am <laughs> so i think i'm done with my makeup and everything so i'm gonna put on some deodorant because who wants to be going to a concert smelling stinky <laughs> not me i think it's time that i wrap this video up because i should be leaving out the house right now but if you made it to this far in the videos thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i love you guys for your constant support i'll see you guys in the next video and if you have any comments about the topics that were spoken about today feel free to hit the comment section and let's talk and i'll see you guys in the next video bye